A sneaky Texan really wanted to see Game 7 of the NBA playoffs between the Warriors and the Cavs, so he got creative. He got in for free. John Ford has the story. University of Texas sophomore Micah Pogue was determined to see his Warriors play in Game 7, but he didn't have a ticket. And despite heavy security, including bomb-sniffing dogs, Department of Homeland Security, and Oakland's finest, he snuck in. I caught up with him in Austin via Skype from his car to ask him how he did it. And I wanted to go to this game, and, uh, and I kind of had this vision to use a fake press pass. Michael says he's pretty good with Photoshop, and apparently he is. On his laptop, he created his own personal press pass with photo, fake numbers, and fake barcode. And I photoshopped my pass for like two hours and then went to Kinko's. Arriving hours early, no one challenged him. He was in. He even Instagrammed his adventure. Of course, we reached out to the Oracle Arena who wanted to ask them, how could such a thing happen? They never got back to us. He says when the game finally started, he went straight up to the top seats, changing into his favorite Curry jersey. Had a great time and almost got on the court after the game. He says his parents and family were shocked at first, and he has this message for the arena. I hope that they uh, they recognize that it wasn't intended to be malicious, and I hope no one gets fired. I was really just trying to observe the historical significance of the game. He's even been contacted about doing a short film about his exploits. I had one one outlet contact me about making making a movie and offer like a offer a quick contract. Although he says he has no plans to do such a thing again. In Oakland, Don Ford. And that'll do it for us here on KCAL 9 News at 9. There's more ahead. KCAL 9 News at 10 starts right now. Now at 10, total destruction. 50 to 60 homes burned to the ground in a fast-moving wildfire. We'll take you to the fire lock. We're number 100. A band of burglars wasn't hard to find after bragging about the crime online. And it's one of the most iconic images in U.S. history. Marines hoisting the flag during World War II. Tonight we learn a Los Angeles man was in it, but denied his place in history for seven decades. Live from the broadcast center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at 10. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jeff Ball. Good evening, everyone. I'm Susie So We begin tonight with breaking news. An inferno burning tonight, destroying up to 60 homes. 2,000 homes ordered evacuated tonight, and firefighters are desperate for help. The fire is burning just east of Lake Isabella. It's a rustic resort town at the southern tip of the Sierra Nevada, east of Bakersfield, about 150 miles north of Los Angeles. Tonight, KCOMI's Tom Waite is live in our newsroom with more. Tom. And Susie, it's such dramatic video. The fire literally exploded into 2,500 acres within a few hours. Dead and dying trees devastated by the drought providing fuel for the fire tonight. We have an extraordinary look at the destruction from a firefighter who hopped in his truck and turned on his webcam. 